No, it's a very dangerous escalation. You know, I, I don't know. Does Iran have sleeper cells in America? Uh, you've got uh, direct do you FBI think they do? Raid. It's, it's entirely possible. I mean, we have six million people entering this country since the Biden administration started. Almost two million, as I would call them, unknown gotaways. They're they're detected. We we know they're into this country. We have no idea who these people are or where they are. Is, is that what is uh, restraining? President Biden, he may think there may be sleeper cells. If he really mm. attacks Iran, they may activate those sleeper cells. Who knows? But again, it's all because of the Biden and the Democrat weakness from their governance. Mm. This, this has to end. The elections matter. We need to win big in 2024 to reverse this. You know, I appreciate you bringing that up. And you have so thought through a situation that it doesn't sound like the commander in chief has. Because if he really thinks there are Iranian sleeper cells in this country, why in the world would you let in 302,000 people in one month in December and not be able to vet everybody and know that they're coming in illegally around the checkpoints? Uh, he pretty and, and by the way, Harris, real, real quick, it's not going to be a piece of legislation to seal the border. We need a president who wants to seal the border and mm -hmm. seal it. We have to go down there and we have to secure the border and seal it off and let the world know we're, we're not going to let people in this country anymore. We have to end this. It's going to take extraordinary measures to address this wow. unprecedented migrant flow.